Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. So, um, new Azamina stuff, new fusion stuff, new fusion cards. So let's take a look, they're powerful, really powerful. The Diamond Sinful Spoils with Fiend Smith with Snake Eyes. You'll see in a couple of moments. So 3 level 6, that's important, and 1 level 8. The first one that you see here is basically an, an, an Omnication, right? Um, you can get them on the field relatively easy, you will see in a couple of moments. So again, the first level 6 being Omni Negation, so tribute itself to negate basically everything from your opponent. Well, one card effect that is, so Imperm, Nip, whatever. The second one is basically a searcher upon summon. You can search any Azamina card from your deck. That searches the, um, here on top of the deck profile the two fusion spells, you will see in a couple of moments. Or, or, or any um, Sinful Spoils card, again, you will see. Uh, the third one is basically an interruption. Level 6, upon summon, sends one card from your opponent back, or at least to the graveyard. Uh, and the last one, there's just no space in the extra deck. It uh, reborns an illusion monster from your, your graveyard. Uh, and or, what is it, if, as soon as you activate an Azamina effect or Sinful Spoils card, you can destroy it. It's an Icarus deck, so disruption. They get two fusion spells, uh, one of them being Sacred Azamina, you'll see in a couple of moments, and uh, the other one is a quick play spell, very similar to Shadol's, and the continuous spell. For now, I feel just fine as a one-off, because it's searchable off of Witch, plus, um, again, in the OCG, there's a couple of cards uh, hit already, so that might be a three of over there. But upon activation, with this continuous spell, it searches any Azamina card, so the... Uh, card you're probably searching is this one, Sacred Azamina, which is, I, I guess this deck's Chimera Fusion, but uh, they also, by the way, get a quick play fusion spell during their turn, banished itself, reborn something, so really nice. But what's the gimmick of the archetype? The gimmick of the archetype is, is that you can kind of cheat out your fusions, not by going for a regular fusion summon, by using what is it, an illusion monster and a light or whatever, you know, looking at which fusion you want to get out. But these two fusion spells let you fusion summon by sending uh, one or two sinful spoils cards from your hand or field to the graveyard, depending on how many uh, level fours uh, you have. So looking at levels, if you want to fusion summon a level six, you have to send one sinful spoils card. If you want to fusion summon the level eight, you need to send two, basically. Um, so, it, basically instant fusions. They are instant fusions and, of course, searchable off of the entire main deck engine. Um, the deck list is not finalized, it's just to showcase these new cards. And again, keep in mind, a lot of them are just one card combos. You'll see plus protection off of NIP, uh, or, or against NIP. And uh, also, we know that the, in the OCG they only have, what is it, one Wanted and one Ash, I think? It doesn't matter, because everything searches each other, everything pivots into each other, it's ridiculous. So this is a one card combo, one and a half, because you need to discard a card off of which. So opening either Wanted or Witch. Uh, first of all, the first fusion you go for is the one that searches, basically any Sinful Spoils. So you search the OG Sinful Spoils, which can be sent to the graveyard by getting back your camp, or you, you know, you go for the second fusion summon, and then you can just send the OG Sinful Spoils from your hand to the graveyard, and then that gets your engine started. Keep in mind, your fusion here on the left is an Omni Negation, so it makes it so that there is no, or at least your opponent cannot really nip or imperm. So if they have one hand trap, that's not enough. And keep in mind, Snake Eyes as an engine, as a deck, can already play through hand traps, can already play through nip with Flame Birch and so on, but this it gives the deck more layers of protection and during their combo unharmed. So as you know, everything pivots into each other, Snake Eyes into uh, Fiendsmith and, you know, Short Set, uh, eventually go for Promethean, Promethean Princess into Flame Birch, right? This makes it so that Promethean Princess is already in the graveyard, so we can go for an Apo, a big Apo eventually, yeah. Uh, Apo protected by Mascarina, keep that in mind, using Flame Birch to get Mascarina into the Spell and Trap card zone. So this is basically the end board. During the end phase, because you sent the continuous spell for a fusion summon, it resets itself. Look at this, off of one, one and a half card, like Flame Merge Interruption with Field Spell into Mascarina, th three material Epo, the Fusion, which is basically an Omnication, and you're set up for next turn with a Continuous Spell set and Ash that you got back from your graveyard. Insane, insane. Next on being uh, one card, <laughs> keep in mind, one card. Poplar currently is at three in the OCG, so it's not really that uncommon, and you know, search up off of Bonfire and so on. So, Normal Summon Poplar, again, that's, you're basically committing your um, Snake Eyes engine first into Fiendsmith and then Azamina. 
So go for the Link 2 for Fiendsmith that Fusion summons a level 6, get back the Fiendsmith from the graveyard, and discard it to search the, what is it, the, the spell, you know, um, track just, yeah. Search the Luri, Luri special summon, basically Link Father for Promethean Princess. These combos are now basically the same as the ones you just saw before, but now a small deviation is going for Beatrice, because Beatrice here is needed to send um, the, you know, Diable Star, right? Uh, witch from your deck to the graveyard and thanks to Celine you can reborn witch and that turns on quite nicely your entire Azamina engine. So I went for the searcher first, there is a searcher, search wanted and look at this, this is also cool, you searched wanted, a one of by the way in the OCG and because of sacred uh, Azamina your fusion spell it, sa it says as I mentioned before either from your hand or field so you can use a fusion spell first Chain wanted and then use wanted as as a cost as a fusion summon requirement, right? Insane. So off of one card, Epo, Communication Fusion, Mascarina for Little Knight and Flame Birch, plus Fusion Spell and a draw, right? And four extra cards in hand. <sighs> Insane. Insane. The last one, opening the feet smith. Uh, standard engine again this is not really new because you know the OCG has been doing this for past couple of months because again Ash is at one, Wanda is at one so it's not really that common to um, open with your snake eyes engine um, so imagine if you open with the Fiendsmith it turns on basically you know thanks to Beatrice which should be banned it turns on your entire snake eyes engine because of Promethean Princess Beatrice sent your Ash to the graveyard this turns on your entire snake eyes package and a uh, small, again, um, difference here compared to the previous ones, you search out your dramatic. Because you already use Beatrice sending witch, you need to, ac you, you know, you need, need, need to have access to witch, right? Your Diable Star witch. And um, because of dramatic, you're able to get to that, send itself to the graveyard and then eventually, you know, Selene, Reborn witch and so on. Uh, basically the same combo as we've seen before. The end board is a bit different, you have a couple of options. The OCG still has Link Karibo access, so it's probably better to end on a small Apo plus Link Karibo. You'll see in a few moments. Or, because we in the TCG we don't have Link Karibo anymore, there's a couple of options. But I think the other option that I'm not doing is a bit better. Um, so we can go for Mascarina. Oh, okay, here's where the OCG leaves the level 1 on field for Link Karibo instead of the Witch. So again, get the, what is it, Flame Birch on field. Here, it's probably just better to use Flame Birch for the Link Summon of Little Knights. You can trigger Witch as well for more searches. I mean, here in the end phase, the Continuous Spell also would have reset itself. It's up to you, right, how you uh, want to do this particular one. But um, it speaks for itself. So a couple of cards that I'm looking at that they are probably getting banned. Original Sinful Spoils, Beatrice, Wanted maybe because it's so powerful. A powerful search. Uh, I mean, you get the point, right? Whew, insane. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them sign up. Peace.